the next object type is called a subdivision surface. And 3D Studio provides access to subdivision surfaces a lot of different ways, actually. It's kind of surprising how many ways they give you access to a subdivision surface. But I'm going to create a box right here. And we move this box down. And I'm going to right click this box. I'm going to convert to editable poly, kind of like I um, could do with any of these objects. And it'll just create it into an editable poly. It's similar to editable mesh, but you see the components, the sub objects are slightly different. And if I come all the way down here, I see this subdivision surface um, rollout. And if I click on use NERMS subdivision, right now it's going to smooth that thing out. So it's taken that box and it's like it's, you know, you threw a wood wood block in a river for, you know, 10,000 years, it would come out super smooth like this. And so I can scale this up and I didn't create quite a perfect cube of a box. If I had, it'd be more like a sphere. But this, which is not quite all the way smooth yet. So you see here, there's a couple of different types of smoothings and you have display and you have a separate render smooth. You can have a separate um, amount of iterations for each if you want to, if you want to um, accelerate your viewport here. You can, you know, display at uh, fewer iterations and render at a higher number of iterations. So you can have a separate, or you can keep them the same. If, if you uncheck this box, it'll just, for both display and render purposes, it'll subdivide that many times. And what it does is just interpolate between the edges of that poly object. And so, if I uncheck this, I see, oh, it's a, just a big square. And the number of times that I smooth over those edges, it's going to get smoother and smoother. And the really subdivision surfaces are the latest way to do most things. And for a good reason is because they harness the power of poly modeling, low resolution poly modeling with perfectly, you know, uh, arbitrarily smooth surfaces. So you can come up here and create one of the, grab one of these faces even, and then do uh, an extrude on it, just like I could with the patch, like I can't do with NURBS, and, you know, adjust this face and manipulate it as well. And then I, but I always have this nice, um, smooth result. But I'm able to model with um, familiar and very versatile um, polygon modeling tools. And it's even better than polygon modeling because since it's smoothed, I have at its core only a very few faces that I'm dealing with rather than something like this, where if I wanted to get a shape like that, I would have to pick, you know, all of these faces and move them in and then smooth it out. This does it kind of all for you. So you have a very low uh, resolution, what's called a control mesh, and then it smooths in between that. So it's it really is the best of all worlds in terms of uh, modeling geometry. The 3D Studio actually has um, two different styles of subdivision surfaces that you can implement. Uh, the first one, which we just did, which is to um, right-click any geometry primitive. It really it works with any geometry primitive that you could make. So I come out here, and I can create a cylinder as well, and then right-click that and turn it into an editable poly. And then by doing that, I come down all the way at the bottom here, and I can use NERM subdivision. Or I can go in the modifier list and use this modifier called Mesh Smooth. Mesh Smooth uh, will um, do the same thing, essentially. There are a few subtle differences between them. But it is, both of those things are at their core. This um, subdivision method called NERMS, 3D Studio calls it, Non-Uniform Rational Mesh Smooth Object. There are some other styles of yeah, but NERMS really is the best um, way to go about it because that allows you to um, have local control over edges and things. So if we delete that and look at this uh, object again, now I have this local control. So I can pick an edge, let's say, if I pick this edge and I look in here, I can assign a, a different weight to that edge. Or I can have that edge be what's called creased, which is, as you can see, as I increase the crease value, then that edge becomes sharper. So subdivision surfaces really do have um, the most power uh, of and most versatility of any of these modeling methods.